it's it's all or nothing. We have the highest standards. We're gonna keep those standards. We're gonna stay together as a team to make sure we're the best in the world at what we do. Okay, so Dale, yeah, let's work from a. Uh, actually, this is perfect. Um, jump in my body scissor. So well, yes, this position does exist in catch wrestling. Anybody who says it doesn't is a moron. Half guard, not so much. But this position, let I have to go over it. So forgive me about the ribs. Here's the difference. Why is it called a body scissor? Angle. Yes, there. Good job. Do I have an angle right now? No. Any grappler on the planet worth his weight in sand knows if his shoulder blades are on the ground, both of them, he's useless. If he's 40, if he's 90 degrees, he's useless. He's beating me right now with perfect, perfect, perfect base, perfect positioning, eyes on target. He's controlling my hips. I am losing this no matter what. So what I got to do? I got to create some movement, right? So catch helps you do that. Positive control. What are we doing with our feet? Wrist control first, right? Right? Yes. Right. I told you not to go for the kind of little leg. <laughs> so wrist control gives me positive control, which allows me to do what now? Open my legs. I don't go like this. Because everybody in the world is going to pass you and make you like a goofball. Control, open. Now look at my right foot. See how my right foot's on the bottom? This is the key to the body scissor. This is Billy Robinson. So he said this. I didn't make him a body scissor. Look. Look at my right foot. Whatever foot is on the bottom, that's the side you're going to turn to. The bone on the inside of your knee will find the floating rib. The top one goes 45. You reconnect. You see Dale's face already? I'm not even squeezing. I pull my heels in, squeeze, and then I scissor. Okay. You hear him? That is a body scissor. It's not a guard. And I use a guard in, in, in jiu-jitsu. I'm not downing. I'm not saying it because it's, it's legit, right? Yes. Exactly. Jiu-jitsu is legit. I love yes. jiu-jitsu. You guys know I love jiu-jitsu. Well, we're doing catch right now, and this is a body scissor. I am scissoring his ribs. I'm crushing. I'm not caring much about his big rib. I'm attacking that floating rib, and that sucker will snap if we hit it right. And I did it in Ohio. I'm, I didn't do it on purpose to a very nice person. He, it, but, but ribs go like he looks. Remember where I was standing yesterday? Mm -hmm. There's no warning. They just pop, man. Mm -hmm. So from here, where am I going? I'm going to work for a wizard. So I got my angle. He's starting to push into me, push in. I for, now, when we do a wizard, guys, this is not a wizard. This, this right here, did I change your posture? Did I, did, I, did I break anything with you? Nothing. I could do the mirror lock that you were talking about, right? But that's not what I want right now. I want to get over the shoulder. Here. That's Billy Robinson style wizard. Shoulder control. My post out, and I get here. Okay? Try to get rid of that. I'll follow you all day. And then I just take it, push the head, and I'm here. Now fight me down. That's what he's going to do. That's the right reaction, right? He's not going to give it to me. He's going to be like, okay, you win. It's garbage. I need to make something happen here. He's not going to make a mistake. I'm going to force a reaction, and I'm going to cause an entanglement, which is going to get me my submission. So I kickstart the head down, and I feed it right to me. Fight me on that, Dale. You're strong. <coughs> Can't do nothing, can you? No. Turn the palm away. Done. Okay? Now we're gonna go through the whole series real quick, okay? Now if you get here and you're fighting here, okay? Yeah. You sure really? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm on the wizard, but I can't get his arm. Put your arm down. No, get, rid of, get, get it off my leg. And I can't get this, right? I'm gonna lock here. A modified triangle and watch this neck crank. I'm gonna take his ear and hide it. <clears throat> neck crank right there. Okay? And the easiest double wrist lock on the face of the earth is sitting on my left hip. And you see it now? Now try to hide it. Try to hide it. I just turn my hips. Where are you going to hide it? You can't. And you're still getting choked now, aren't you? And I can still pull your head and then double wrist lock. With one arm. With, with a double wrist lock, remember this, guys. Bottom of the wrist, turn it out. Deal fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Am I using string? Because I'm turning his wrist out. We're taking the ligaments and tendons, and what are we doing? Strangling them down where they can't support the joint. That leaves that poor little joint all by itself against technique. And that's when we take it, right? So I'm going to show you the whole series first, okay? So bear with me, because we're going to go crazy. And then we're going to break it down into two parts. Is that fair? Is, there, is everybody with me okay? Yes, sir. You guys are recording, please stay with me, okay? 
and keep recording. All right? So I'm not going to start over. I'm going to finish the chain. You okay with it? Let me know, okay, please? Because I know you, you'll, you'll pass out because you're, you're too tough. He's literally too tough for his own good. He's more of a celebrity than all of us because he's been through so much abuse in the videos. So anyways, the double wrist lock is there, right? What does it give me? What's the ease option right now? Who sees it? Sure, I can switch back and come in here and go right back to my triangle. But is that, is that a really good triangle right there, really? Everybody wants to hook the ankle. You see a shoulder? That's not a triangle. That's a triangle. There's a slack. What did I take a tell about compromising and get rid of space? No space. Not a centimeter. I'm meant to have an angle now, right? When he was 90, he was perfect. He was winning. I have to either move him or he has to move, or I have to move myself to create angles off my back. But I'm flat now because I'm demonstrating if we're going live, I'm side to side, side to side. Like I'm just talking to you guys. When you guys get to your triangle, you're gonna come all the way out here and then reset. Push across all the way to your shin and come down. Not to finish it properly, you hip up and pull down, but you're not even gonna have to. Okay, I'm not worried about the arm bar. So let's go back to here. And this is where I wanted to start because this gives me great control. Double wrist lock starts, kick off here. Come up quick. To my coil lock. Coil lock is your term for all applaud in catch wrestling. Okay, does everybody understand how to do a coil lock in submission? I'll show you the way I do it. I don't, I come out here like this. I don't drive forward. I stay heavy on the hip. You understand the difference? A lot of guys, they come up and they go like this. Look, look how far I have to go. Watch this. Because I'm heavy on this hip, man. Take the slack out, okay? Now from here, I'm going to stay heavy on the hip. This is a long chain, so please bear with me. And if you want me to show it to you after with the seminar, I'll be more than happy to break it down for each and every one of you. But watch how I get into the legs. You're going to like this, especially you leg locking, guys. Watch. Turn a little bit for me. Now. AJ, can you come to the back of the side? Give me a little space here to work so I can demonstrate. Right here. I'm going to turn back a little bit. Keep my foot locked on the back of his head. Come inside here. Right here. And I'm going to kick. And I'm coming up that toe hold. Mm -hmm. From the toe hold, I take it, put it on the other side, pull through, right into my toe. Okay? That's the full chain. Head to toe. Billy Robinson said what? Attack like a ladder. I just went from head to toe. You got me, guys? So what are we going to do first? Go to scissor. Yeah, man. Let's get, our, let's get our leg Nelson and get our neck crank and double wrist lock, and then let's build it, yeah? You with me? Yes, sir. Okay, let's do it. Really, really easy stuff. But think about your scissor, guys. The guard is awesome. I love jiu-jitsu. I'm a 20-year jiu-jitsu guy. I'm a black belt in jiu-jitsu. You guys already hear all this bull crap. It, it, I like it, but guess what? Catch is my favorite. Deal with it. Wrist control, positive control. I turn, my knee bone goes into the ribs. Up here, 45 degrees, the bottom foot. If you, believe it or not, you probably wrap your feet the same way every time and don't even realize it. You don't even realize it with your, with your guard or whatever. That right foot's on the bottom, so I turn to the right. I love you, I'm not gonna do it hard. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it hard to deal because he's been through this a million times. I squeeze and I scissor through and it sucks. You get the idea, right? Now, he starts driving into me. Everybody wants to deal with the guy. Drives into me, drives into me. And then we want to come here and get this, maybe get a half butterfly and sweep. But right now, what I want, he starts driving in. I pummel. I'm wrestling. I am wrestling. I'm pummeling for inside ties. Every form of grappling is still a form of wrestling. No? When you wrestle with your brothers, you didn't disclaim anything. You just called it wrestling, right? Okay? When I come up, I punch over the shoulder and come down to the sh chest. I get up. You hear me talking about getting my hands to the mat all the time, right? Look at his arm. Punch the bicep, poke. Come over the head. Let him give you the pressure. Let him give it to you. Can you move right now? No. Good, good. Now I can do some more thing on this side, but I don't care about that right now. I'm gonna kickstart the head and I'm gonna feed that right to me using my quad. Turn the palm away and pull. Okay, we did this before from the rear mount, so we're good, right? Now, come back up, please. If I'm struggling with this, 
and I'm in this position, and Dale, Dale's good. Dale's, Dale's very good. He's been with me for years, jiu-jitsu and catch. He's fighting me. He's not going to give that to me. I come up over top. Not much of a threat of a triangle. He's kind of like, eh, well, he's on the wrong side. It's not very pretty. But guess what? I can't do Hide his ear. There's too much pressure here. And I'm separating what? His shoulder from his head perfectly. Neck crank. Right, neck crank? Very good. Release the wizard. Hip up in a way. Turn the wrist out. Dale, don't joke around. Fight me. Turn the wrist out. Drive right up. Am I using strength? Be honest. No, no BS. I know we're different weight classes. If you feel I'm using strength, be honest. I'm turning the wrist, guys. And just, I don't have to bend his arm hardly, I just drive it up. You can still frame it, of course, and pull the thumb into the armpit, but he's already tapping. Okay, that's all I want you to do right now. Can you guys do that? Yes, sir. Let's go. One, two, three.